There's a surprise. Anything the UK touches just now turns to sh**. Absolute waste of time and money. Leave it to the experts, not Poundland NASA. We waste money on failed space missions while people starve and die for lack of hospital beds. If we needed any further proof that we have lost the plot, this is it. What a monstrous waste of money. The Cornish MPs tweeting themselves dizzy about how proud they are, how wonderful it is for Cornwall that a rocket has been launched by Virgin. It makes me ill. It means all for Cornwall. Drillisk, food banks, NHS, poverty, heating, water quality, that's what matters, not a rocket. You know what? It's time for a rant. So, I was expecting, certainly, people to have some negative reactions, there to be a great deal of naysayers about everything associated with Spaceport Cornwall in the aftermath of this anomaly, of this failure. Really, there's no other way to describe it. Granted, there were a lot of positive things accomplished at Spaceport Cornwall. They have now demonstrated that they're able to handle a space mission. They have the experience to do that in the future, but of course the question remains, is there going to be another space mission in the future? And of course, what the naysayers are spewing all over the internet right now is not helping. And of course, these are people that are going to be voting, people that are going to be influencing politicians, but where I didn't expect to see this was from a very well-known celebrity who promotes the needs of Cornwall all the time. And this is Edward Rowe, also known as the Kerno King. So Edward Rowe is using his platform as an award-winning actor, as a well-known comedian, and as a fellow who really promotes and talks about the needs of Cornish citizens a great deal to promote his own views on this particular subject. And that is extremely predictable stuff that in the midst of, you know, all the crises associated with food banks, with proper heating right now, with clean water, with hunger, poverty, etc., and Cornwall is particularly stricken by these sorts of things, that a rocket means all to Cornwall. Yeah, I'm not from Cornwall, I'm not even British, but a blind man could have seen how important this project is and just how devastating this disappointment was. First of all, what about the employees of Spaceport Cornwall, the people who have engaged in a 10-year labor of love to make all of this happen, to build this relationship not only with Virgin Orbit, but also with Sierra Space, and not just to make Cornwall a place for Cosmic Girl to take off and land, but also to handle the integration of payloads, to handle extremely sophisticated technology, such as the various satellites that went on this rocket and were tragically lost in the course of the mission. Almost all of these satellites were designed and built in the UK. All of the companies that were represented on this payload, of course, employ many people throughout the UK. Do these people mean all to Cornwall, especially since lots of them live here? What about all of the jobs associated with the spaceport? There are numerous companies that have gathered around the Cornwall Space Cluster during the development of this spaceport. And we're talking many, many companies that are bringing lots of money to Cornwall and also lots of jobs good paying jobs, and not just engineering jobs, any space related corporation, any technology related company is also going to need administrators, they're going to need cleaning staff, they're going to need food service people to bring them their lunches for various events that take place. Of course, this happened at the launch itself, there were over a thousand people there, and many, many local food vendors also present there, and let me tell you, they were doing a thriving business. Do they mean all to Cornwall? And what about the universities in Cornwall, many of which are now promoting 
space flight and space technology and aerospace related jobs that are associated with the spaceport and also with Goonhilly Earth Station. An entirely new field of education, entirely new career opportunities available to the young people of Cornwall. And it's not just education, it's also internship opportunities at Goonhilly and also at Spaceport Cornwall an avenue for young people from Cornwall, young people who definitely need these kinds of opportunities to enter into an extremely lucrative and extremely good careers associated with aerospace, associated with space science. Do these people, do these universities, do these opportunities mean all to Cornwall? And what about the kids who were watching this event in the freezing cold, in the hellish weather that we had to face while I was watching the launch from the viewing platform? And there were some kids, along with Blue Peter, who were there, bright-eyed, excited about this, and then utterly devastated in the aftermath when the failure was reported. These are the sorts of kids, the future of spaceflight, the future of this nation who were represented there. And it wasn't just the kids who were traveling along with Blue Peter. It was so many young children staying up way past their bedtime to watch what was supposed to be a huge, momentous, and exciting moment, not only for Britain, but in the history of all of Western Europe, the first ever orbital launch from Western European soil. Obviously, they were devastated by this experience. I saw it in their eyes after everything was reported. These kids, obviously, are the future of Britain. Do they mean all to Cornwall? And what really shocks me is the fact that the Kerno King doesn't seem to be paying much attention to the Kerno Sat program, a project that will send up the first ever satellite from Cornwall, which of course is providing not only jobs to this troubled region, but also something else, an analysis of the Cornish coastline to determine ongoing environmental damage, ways to clean up that damage, and most importantly, an excellent place to make a kelp forest for carbon sequestration. In other words, something to help with the future of the climate problem and pollution and other issues that people are so quick to talk about and yet not so quick to talk about innovative solutions to this problem. Obviously, there are many, many things associated with what just happened that are very important not only to Cornwall, but to the entirety of the United Kingdom. And and all of this criticism, this withering barrage of nonsense that we have going on on the internet, something that I really expected, but I didn't expect it, from somebody who is ostensibly looking out for the well-being of the people of Cornwall. Didn't expect that at all, Edward Rowe. To be fair to you, later on you tweeted some clarifications that you weren't talking about technology, jobs, or whatever, that you were slamming on Tory MPs or whatever, but you know what? It didn't come across that way. And the media is not rebroadcasting your tweet that you are getting so much exposure for because of this massive platform that you have have, they're not reporting it that way either. Instead, they are reporting it for what it appears to be, which is withering criticism of the entire program. So if you want to clarify what you said, delete that tweet and release another one that explains better what you really mean. Please like, please subscribe, and as always, stay angry about space.